Hi, and welcome to another DX Engineering Q&A Wednesday. I am Mark, W8BBQ. And I'm Rod, K8RR. And today we're talking about keying line devices. I want to run an amplifier and put out megawatts so that I can bust through the pileups. Um, that would not be legal. Oh. Yeah. Okay. 1,500 Well, how about 1,000 watts? 1,000 uh, watts is fine. All right. Or 1,500. Okay. Legal limit. Um, even though amplifiers are available that do a lot more. Yes. Um, so when you push to talk on a microphone or you use a key, the, the radio sends out a keying line signal. Actually, it's a transmit on ground Correct. signal um, that is used by the amplifier. The, for, so the radio can tell the amplifier when to switch its relay over from receive to amplify. Right. Well, that's all well and good and stuff, but I don't care about any of that. I want my amplifier to work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, then you better hook up what's known as the keying line. Yes. The amplifier keying line. And when we say keying line, it has nothing to do with CW. It has nothing to do with the Morse code key. Keying is the push-to-talk signal that the radio sends to the amplifier. Correct. Okay. Now, usually, that's done on modern transceivers, solid state equipment um, with just an RCA cable. Mm -hmm. if it, I, I meant to bring in the, uh, the IC7300, which has an RCA on the back of it called Send, which the one of these would go, and then the other end would go to the amplifier relay connector. Mm -hmm. And amplifier relay connectors are like almost always an RCA phono female. Right. And this is an RCA phono male. Now, if you have a really old amplifier that doesn't have an RCA phono um, female, or if it's really old and it does have one of these, but it has a high voltage relay. Mm -hmm. you or if, need it's, to, or yeah. if it's not very old. Or if it's not very old. And you want the easiest way possible to safely hook up your amplifier. Then there's a couple of different ways of using a thing called a, a keying line uh, buffer. Right. And this is keying the interface. Yeah. And this is one of them. This is an Ameritron. This is their part number ARB704. And uh, this is just kind of like cheap insurance for both your radio and your amplifier. Extremely easy to hook up your amplifier. Basically, mistake free, right? Right. Um, so on the back, there is a, a special uh, connector that uh, is used, it's known as the multi-port connector. Mm -hmm. And then um, they sell, Ameritron has all right. these different interface when, cables. When you order your ARB704, you get the interface box and uh, the cables. And then you have to tell us which radio you have because you get a specially uh, pre-made cable that's wired specifically for your radio. Now, and, um, the, uh, the ARB704 I2 comes with this uh, special cable uh, with a 13-pin DIN for some of the ICOMs. Right, the 7300, for example. But mm -hmm. with the I, uh, the, the, with all the other radios the that DIN. don't use a 13-pin DIN, you would get the ARB704 mm -hmm. and then a separate PNP cable that goes from the back of this unit to the back of the radio. Right. Or, if you're not going to do it that way, you could do it this way. Mm -hmm. with one of these cables from the radio to this unit, and then one of these cables from the, the amplifier uh, connector to the, to the right. amplifier relay connector. Sounds a lot more complicated than it is. It's this, very simple. This, uh, we, can, we can help you out with this. Basically, the only thing you really have to know is, and tell us is uh, what type of radio that you have. Um, how about that one? Yeah, we have another unit here called the KD9SV keying relay. Um, which is basically the same concept. Um, this one, like the other one, uh, runs on DC and takes the switching line uh, from from a radio, and then um, it it uh, it's solid state, so it uh, it can handle high voltage like this one hmm. from the uh, relays of old amplifiers or the low voltage of uh, newer amplifiers. Right, right. Finally. What if, yeah, what if you've got a little more complex situation? If I get a more complex situation where I need to take the keying line from the radio mm -hmm. and key an amplifier and a preamp uh, or some other ex accessory device, DX Engineering has come out with a new key line pie. No, it's uh, really <laughs> called the key line three, 
um, where you can connect the uh, key line from the radio or a buffer or, or a relay and then split it out to an amplifier, uh, an accessory, and even another accessory. Right. Very cool. Yeah. So it's very important to have this if you're going to use, uh, you know, like some receive uh, uh, interface devices or mm -hmm. receive antennas that, that have keying lines. You can't just use a Y adapter necessarily. Mm -hmm. This no, has diodes inside of it to uh, isolate each of the de devices being keyed Correct. from each other. And we have these available now. Yeah, they're in stock. All right. Well, give us a call here at DX Engineering if you're trying to uh, hook up your amplifier. You want to do it uh, safely. Megawatts. That's for sure. Megawatts. <laughs> give us a call. Uh, anything else? That's it. All right. Well, we'll talk to you again next week. 7-3. 7-3.